everyone welcome to another video my name is Sanjay Prakash and today in this video I will tell you about the currency field in Dataverse or in Dynamics 365 you can uh, you can say now currency field is very interesting right as because Microsoft Dynamics or Microsoft Dataverse supports multiple currency that's why how this multiple currency is managed in Dataverse we will understand today this is a very confusable thing but it is easy to understand let us understand there are two types of currency one is base currency another is local currency let's take an example let's say you are in us then what is your base currency the base currency is us dollar right let's say you are having a headquarter uh, of your business in us then the base currency should be your us dollar but let's say your business has a branch in india right if your branch is in india then if you have some employees in your branch they should deal with the indian customers with indian rupees right so they should not collect the payment using us dollar right so for that purpose although your business taken subscription as base currency us dollar your employees might deal with customers to collect payment in indian rupees so how how by taking subscription as a base currency us dollar or euro or any other currency um, the users of your employee uh, users of your company can deal with different currencies and how data force is managed to have this type of currency things right so we'll discuss in depth today remember one thing guys the base currency is defined whenever you take subscription right when you tap, take a subscription of dataverse using admin.powerplatform.com at the very beginning it is decided that what should be your base currency for me the base currency currently now is us dollar right now if the us dollar is the base currency how local currency is managed remember one thing in dataverse whenever you create a currency field you see this is a field amount field and this amount field i have created using data type as currency right you see the current currency is the data type now whenever in any table you create a column which data type is currency it creates three fields automatically one field is the field that you are going to create which will represent as a local currency another field associated with that field will be created automatically whose name is field name in bracket base this is called as base currency right and uh, this column is automatically created right now this base currency column will store the base uh, currency value of a local amount for example if you if someone collects a payment one dollar in the amount field in the base amount it will store one dollar because uh, i am collecting payment uh, using us dollar but if i am collect, collecting payment uh using a local currency let's say indian currency i will show you the demo let's let's first uh, understand the concept if in the amount field i am collecting collecting uh, the currency using indian currency let's say it is uh, 120 dollar uh, 120 rupees then in amount base it will store two dollar depending on the exchange rate now this is the third column it is created as because of the currency field so whenever you create a currency field in any table that creates three fields one is the uh, field that you are creating which will represent as a local currency another associated field is called as amount base or the uh, field with a base uh, suffix which will store updated by default by the system using the base currency exchange rate and this exchange rate stores the actual exchange rate uh, between the base currency and local currency now you, you can ask me a question how these exchange rates are managed the exchange rates are managed by the administrator if you go to advanced settings and go to business management 
in the business management management you will find currencies in this currencies section you can define multiple local currency and the exchange rates with respect to the base currency like that you see here if i will go to rupees we have created a rupees currency and we have defined the rupees currency code inr currency precision to currency symbol rupees and currency name rupee and the exchange rate so us one dollar equal to 66 inr you can change it right so it is responsibility of the administrator or the finance team to update these exchange rates uh, frequently because the exchange rates are you know frequently changing now you can al also automate these exchange rates through some automation that is fine Th that is a separate story to update how to automate this uh, exchange rates because this is very very important updating exchange rates now this exchange rates defines what should be the base currency value and what should be the local currency value right so you understand exchange rates table is used to define the exchange rate between base currency and local currency and this this uh, amount field stores i have a table called as loan in the loan table i have used amount as a uh, currency field so for that amount currency field it created three fields one is amount the same field i have created to store the local currency base currency to store the us dollar uh, converted uh, currency and exchange rates to define the what is the total exchange rates between this two currencies right now if i will go to loan record to create a record let us go and create a loan record i am on the power apps so i want to try to create a loan record for a customer right so go to related loans okay let me try to create a new loan record okay now this is the amount field now whenever i supply some value you see it is in dollar symbol why it is a dollar symbol because the default currency for the business is dollar but let's say i am working in india and i am an employee of that company i always deal with customers um, in rupees then i have to change this currency right so how to change this currency so user can go here and go to add personalization settings and change the currency they can change the currency using this default currency let me change this to rupees right i updated to rupees and click ok now going for, forward whenever i will create a loan record i can collect payment uh, i can create a loan record using indian rupees let me create one let me use a customer okay and amount let's say the customer takes 6 lakhs you see the rupees is updated here now whatever you give here in this value it will store in this column the first column because this is the local currency after you save the record it will calculate the um, total base price according to the exchange rates and store in this base currency let us check how it looks like let me uh, store let me create the uh, loan record and show you an example okay and let's say personal loan for So 6 lakhs amount uh, is uh, applied as a loan for the pack. Click on save. Okay. Now amount field stores 6 lakhs Indian rupees. Now how the base currency is updated? Let us understand this. Let me go to the loan and try to check the uh, check three fields. One is amount, amount base and transaction, the exchange rate. You see here this is the amount and this is the base right so this 6 lakhs this is available in amount field why because amount field is used to store local currency and we are capturing local currency in this field that's why 6 lakhs 6 lakhs is available here now what amount is available in a base it is available 8000 what is the exchange rate 75 so this exchange rate is extracted from the exchange rate table 
and calculates the base price against the local price 6 lakhs divided by 75 right it calculates 8000 now the amount in the base stores 8000 right you understand the difference between a uh, base price and local price and the exchange rates now you should clear about the things right so this way user can collect local currency amount and in the background it will display the local currency uh, the in background it will store the base price right now before you, you will mark something here there is another interesting thing in the currency you see some amounts i have created four loan records there are two amounts in dollar and two amounts in currency uh, in uh, um, rupees right now let us check this one which is two lakhs dollar so go to that record and check verify this one you see the two lakhs amount and amount in base is equal to amount in local why because both are in same currency right so that's what the base currency and local currency is all about i hope you understand thank you guys cheers bye see you